Hey, what's up guys? This is day two of your in-home workouts. This will be Tuesday's workout. I got it written on the board behind me. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but obviously it'll be posted as well and hopefully in the link at the description. I'm also gonna throw a playlist on there. Some of you requested some music. Uh, I'm gonna throw some new music on there, some of the old stuff that I usually play in class and try to resemble class as much as possible, okay? We're gonna start with the warm-up. We're gonna go two rounds. You are gonna start with 10 thoracic reaches. You're gonna be down on the ground here for these. We're gonna go 10 on the right, 10 on the left. You're on your hands and knees. You got a big reach underneath. Then open it up nice and tall. Maybe a little pause at the top. Going in and out for 10 on the right. Flipping over, 10 on the left there. After that, we'll go 10 in step to hamstring stretches. So you got one foot in front. You're sinking inside here, driving that knee out and then you're gonna push those hips back, extend that leg, rocking in and out for 10 reps on the right, 10 on the left, spend as much time in each of those positions as you need, just kind of opening up that hip, opening up that hamstring if you have some squats later in the workout. So that's what we're trying to get there, 10 on the right, flipping over to 10 on the left. 10 squat folds. You're sinking as low as you can here. Driving those knees out, I like to get my elbows into my knees, press out, and then fold over into a hamstring stretch there. In and out for 10 total reps. After that, we're going 20 jumping jacks, just trying to get the blood flowing a little bit. Kind of piss your neighbor off, going in and out for 20 reps. Nice and controlled. And then finally, we're finishing with 10 rolling sit-ups here. Not something we do in class, but something a little bit different. You're going to be laying on the ground here. Legs are going to come over your head. And then you're going to use that momentum to come up into a little hamstring stretch each time. Try to get a little bit more range of motion. Nice and controlled in and out for 10 reps on those 10 rolling sit-ups, okay? All right, guys, obviously that warm-up section was all body weight stuff, so don't need any equipment for that. The second section of this workout is going to be strength-oriented. We're going to take it or make it as strength oriented as possible. So I'd like you to grab one, a chair so you can get your back foot up on. We're going to have some single leg squats and also you're going to use those for some tricep dips. And then if you want to go weighted, I would suggest a backpack and then filling that up as much as possible. So we're going to go four rounds here. The first movement is going to be a uh, tempo squat. So you're using time to go grab that chair, grab that backpack me on pause real quick and then coming back from that you should have all that equipment a chair possibly a backpack uh, filled with some books or something heavy uh, so you can get some tempo squats so you're grabbing your backpack putting it on your back here we're going 15 tempo squats so I've got my weighted backpack here and we're going three seconds down one second pause at the bottom so you're keeping your chest nice and tall pushing your hips back pulling your knees apart nice and controlled one second pause at the bottom, and then coming back up, all right? You can fill that backpack up as much as you need to. You can do these just body weight if you need to. But three seconds on the way down, one second pause at the bottom, and then drive it back up, okay? You got 15 total reps there. After that, we're gonna do some push-up variations. So you got 15 total reps of push-ups here, but it's gonna be five reps in three different variations. So the first one, will be five regular push-ups. So you're just going hand width apart here, nice and controlled. If you need to do these on your knees or rolling style, obviously feel free to do that. But full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. We'll go five regular. And I want you to open your hands just a little bit, going five wide after these. So my hands are just outside my shoulders here. Still looking for full range of motion. Five reps there. And then finally, we're gonna go narrow some of you like to do that diamond grip, that's gonna get just a little bit more triceps, but you can keep that regular hand at just inside the shoulders here for five total reps. So five regular, five wide, five narrow, that is 15 total there. Next part, you can go back to that weighted backpack if you want for these single leg squats, or if you just wanna grab the chair at this point. So that's what we're doing. You got your chair out, that back leg is going to be on that chair. So kind of doing a Bulgarian split squat here. 
and I'd stand about three feet away from that chair so my shins are against it or my calves are against it. I'm going one, two, three steps out. Back leg is flat so I don't want a rounded foot here. So extend that foot nice and flat. Same idea, you're keeping your chest up. You're sinking down as low as you can and trying to avoid driving that knee forward rather sitting back in your heel. Full range of motion. You got 10 on the right, switch foot, and then 10 on the left there. Nice and controlled. Try and stop that knee from caving in. Nice controlled. 20 total foot splits there, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Last but not least, you have 20 bench dips. You can come into your chair or your stool, whatever you got here. Hands are on the outside here. Legs are in front. Nice and controlled. Full extension at the top, really flexing your triceps for 20 total bench dips, okay? That will be one round. You have four total rounds of that. Let's get to it. All right, guys, last section is the conditioning section. You have a little bit of a neck on here. It's four rounds, 30 reps on the first round, 20 reps on the second round, 15 reps on the third round, and 10 reps on the fourth. So 30, 20, 15, 10. You have four total movements. The first one is a sprawl. Everybody knows those at this point. Holding up the hips, just an abbreviated burpee. Getting those hands on the ground, kicking your feet back, and then standing back up. Nice and controlled. Make sure that low back is nice and flat. In and out for 30 total sprawls there. 30 squat jumps, so taking that weight off your back now. I know those legs are probably a little bit tired, but trying to be explosive. Still looking for full range of motion, but coming up to a little jump at the top for 30 total squat jumps there. High knees, this is gonna be a right and left movement. So in that first round, you have 30 on the right, 30 on the left, really 60 total. Standing in place here, I like to go hands out in front, and I'm driving my knees up as high as I can. Like I said, 30 on the right, 30 on the left, 60 total on that first round. Then the second round would be 40 total, third round 30 total, fourth round 20 total. And then finishing with a plank Superman. So a little bit different. I don't know if we've done this one in class before. You are going to a plank position. This will be 15 on the right, 15 on the left. Nice controlled flat back here. And then you're extending out, switching back and forth, trying to keep that core nice and tight. 15 on the right, 15 on the left for 30 total, okay? Coming back, second round 20, third round 15, fourth round 10. All right, guys, and we're just gonna finish with two rounds of fusion here, just three stretches. Making sure we're good to go for tomorrow's workout. So stretching out those legs a little bit. First one will be a quad stretch, so you're pulling that leg back. Sitting down on those hips. That knee is down, my hips are nice and square. I'm going 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Then I'll cross one leg over the top. Outside arm comes outside of that leg. 30 seconds on the right on the seated twist. 30 seconds on the left. And then finishing with a little chest opener after all those push-ups. So you're dropping down to the ground. Arm goes out at a 45 degree angle, rotating away from that 30 on the right. 30 on the left there, okay? Um, if you need help with any of those movements, have questions on any of those movements, need to make those movements harder, need to make them easier, need adjustments for injuries, just feel free either to message me on Instagram or if you have my phone number, message me there. If you just want to leave a comment, Feel free to do that and I'll try to get to those, okay? Hope you guys had a great workout. Hope you're ready for Wednesday's workout. Plus the new stuff coming for you soon, okay?